Oh, she's so that's the black eye is injured. Ah, oh, 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 oh. And uh, this is a present test to check the ulcer and see how badly ulcer it is. We wait about one minute. Huh? Okay, wait about one minute. And then we will see where the stain is. You got the, you got the light, huh? Okay, so you come this side. You come this side. No, you come this side. So after one minute, when there's an ulcer, it will become green. There, it's a green wow, color. Sir. Oh, there's a big kind of ching sir. Oh, it's quite a deep ulcer. Mm, mm. Oh, only that part, only a central ulcer. It's quite deep. No? Why does the dye become green? What is keratitis? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video brought to you by Topayo Vets. As you can see from this diagram of an eye, the transparent front of the eye is the cornea. In this illustration, we can see that the cornea is made of five main layers. The epithelium on top, followed by Bowman's membrane, followed by the thick stroma, followed by the cement's membrane, and finally, the one cell thick endothelium. Here, we can see a normal dog's cornea, but it's continuous and clear. Keratitis is the inflammation of any part of the cornea. What are the types of keratitis? There are two main types of keratitis, non-ulcerative and ulcerative. Non-ulcerative keratitis is any inflammation of the cornea that does not retain fluorescent stain. Most non-ulcerative keratitis only involves up to the stroma layer. In this illustration, we can see that the corneal structure is not disrupted in non-ulcerative keratitis. The inflammation is only as deep as the stroma. In this photo, we see that the dog's cornea is cloudy but does not retain fluorescent stain. This dog has non-ulcerative keratitis. What are the causes of non-ulcerative keratitis? Chronic superficial keratitis has several causes and is a long-standing inflammation of the cornea. Pigmentary keratitis is caused by eye problems, particular to brachycephalic or short-headed dogs. These eye problems cause overexposure of the cornea which causes pigmentary keratitis. In this photo, you can see the brown pigmentation in this dog with pigmentary keratitis. Keratoconjunctivitis sicca, or KCS, is a condition in which there is abnormal tear production, resulting in dry eyes that cause inflammation to the cornea. In this photo, we see that the dog has dry eyes. The second type of keratitis is ulcerative keratitis. Ulcerative keratitis is corneal inflammation involving breakdown of any part of the corneal structure. As the stroma is exposed in ulcerative keratitis, fluorescein dye is retained and can be used to show the corneal ulcer clearly. Ulcerative keratitis can be split into three types, superficial ulcer, penetrating ulcer, and perforating ulcer. This illustration shows a superficial ulcer involving only the epithelium. This illustration shows a penetrating ulcer. The stroma has been penetrated, and the decimates membrane bulges out because of pressure from the liquid in the eye. This illustration shows a perforating ulcer. In this case, the decimates membrane is broken, and aqueous humor, the liquid inside the eye, leaks out. Here are some examples of the different types of corneal ulcer.
There are several main causes of ulcerative keratitis. 1. Trauma Foreign bodies may injure the cornea, causing punctures in the cornea. 2. Lagothalmus Lagothalmus is the inability to close eyelids completely, leading to exposure keratitis. 3. Tear film abnormality Abnormalities in, in tear production lead to tear film abnormality, which leads to dry eyes. 4. Infection Bacterial or viral infection may cause corneal ulcers. 5. Agnesal disease Agnesal disease includes abnormalities of the eyelid, such as eyelid growth and inward rolling of the eyelid. Six, primary corneal disease. Diseases of the cornea that are not caused by exterior factors can lead to corneal ulcers. Seven, miscellaneous. Miscellaneous other causes of ulcerative keratitis include foreign bodies in the eye, chemical burns, neurotrophic keratitis, and immune-mediated disease. Fluorescein dye can be used to show the corneal ulcer clearly. But how does the dye work? In this illustration, we can see the dye being applied to the cornea. While it is not taken out by the epithelium, the stroma absorbs it. When UV light is shined on the cornea, the fluorescein absorbed by the stroma grows green, allowing the vet to visualize the ulcer. In this video, the fluorescein dye is applied to the dog's eye. Green fluorescence shows the ulcer clearly. There are two common treatments used for keratitis. If the keratitis is non-ulcerative or superficial, eye drops are prescribed and an Elizabethan collar is placed on the dog to prevent it from scratching during healing. If the keratitis is deeply ulcerative, tassography is recommended. This is a surgical process in which the eyelids of the affected eye are sewn shut to protect the cornea during healing. In this photo, you can see that the dog's right eye has been sewn shut. The cornea heals in four stages, edema, vascularization, scarring, and pigmentation. Stage 1, edema. Edema is the accumulation of fluid in the cornea. This is an example of corneal edema. We can see that fluid has accumulated in the cornea. Stage 2, vascularization. Vascularization is the formation of new blood vessels in the cornea, which is usually free of blood vessels. These are examples of vascularization. The redness of the cornea is caused by the formation of blood vessels. Stage 3, Scarring A scar, usually seen as a white spot, is present on the cornea. Stage 4, Pigmentation Finally, pigments may enter the cornea, forming a brown spot. Okay, April 13, 2014, Sunday. Now this dog comes in with the right eye, Eyelids closed and the left eye is okay. How old is the dog now? Um, she's five. about 12 or 13. She's sterilized? Uh, no, not at all. What breed is she? Uh, she's a Maltese cross, I think. Not Maltese too sure cross, what's her. Yeah, I know she's a cross breed. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, what happened yesterday? Uh, well, yesterday she we brought her to the groomers, and then mm. when she came back, she was uh, lethargic. Mm. You, um, we started to notice that she likes to sleep a lot. Mm, She's okay. been sleeping the whole night, and she hasn't been eating since uh, yesterday, as well. Um, drinking. Drinking was fine. I did notice she she had some uh, water and everything, but she wasn't interacting with us or my other dog at all. And uh, just just really wanted to just lace around, sleep around kind of stuff. After grooming, honey? Yes, that's right. Before grooming, she was okay? Yes, and my other dog was perfectly fine if uh, if that was anything to go by. Mm. Uh, okay, so the, actually the main complaint was the eye bleed. Yeah, uh, and she closed, was uh, extremely lethargic. Um, I did see some um, oh, diarrhea, oh. watery discharge okay. as well. Yeah, so, so let me check the eye first. Okay, sure. With the frozen, uh, okay. frozen eye. Okay. eye Stain us. Now this will tell us whether there's an ulcer or not. Right. Wait, you hold the mouth first. Okay, you hold sure. the mother. Let me just put two drops in. Okay. And then I'll do both eyes to compare, All also right. to check. Okay. So you wait about one minute. All right. Now, Good if, girl, honey. Good uh, girl. if there is an ulcer, mm -hmm. then you can see the greenish dye. I see. If there's no ulcer, then there, there won't be any greenish dye. Okay. Not, normally, we have to wait. Wait a while because mm -hmm. it takes time. Okay. Now, normally it's quite suspicious of mm -hmm. ulcer because they, they can't okay. open the eyes I see. after grooming. Okay. Now you just wait. Uh, let me just get the lights up here. Yeah. Alright. Okay, okay. Nowadays we just use a phone. And <laughs> I see, like, like the torch or something. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, go, go, go. Okay, stay, 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 stay. And, uh, Oh, you hold the mouth first. Okay. You hold the mouth. Okay. And uh, okay. Let the videographer you hold the okay. hold stay, the stay, stay. nose steady. Mm. Yeah. All right. Relax. Stay the good, girl, honey. All right. Stay, stay, stay. Wait a, a little. Oh, okay. 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 Stay. Come open. Wait, let me just. Okay. I can see a, a beautiful, I must say, to me it's beautiful, but to you it's terrible. <laughs> oh, There's an ulcer, you see? Did you manage to get it? Yeah, 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 you see? yeah I see okay. it, yeah. Now we compare to this oh, okay, eye. Okay, good, 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 we compare okay, to the eye now, okay. it doesn't stain with fluorescein mm, if there is no uh, nothing ulcer. Nothing on the eye, I see, okay. Uh, but you can see that this eye, mm -hmm. is there any uh, scar? No? There seems to be an old scar there, Okay. on uh, 4 o'clock. I see, okay. This also had eye injury, but it's long ago. Okay, okay. Do you see? Yeah. You can get it, capture it. Huh? No, we're more interested in this one, of course. Okay, good girl, good girl, stay, no. stay, stay. Okay, okay. No, it's okay, quite stay, painful stay. because of the... Okay, good girl, good girl, stay, 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 stay. Oh, it's, I need you to hold, hold okay, just hold. Okay, the nose, is it? Oh, no. Okay. Good girl, huh? Ah, okay. Alright, stay, stay, stay. Good just good put the... Yeah. So, the, my point is that always use fluorescein stain to, to check for eye injury and it's very uh, impressive to the owner because mm. you can even tell where the... The injury injury is, yeah. Is, yeah. And without the fluorescent, then we can always speculate. Oh, dear. But the owner won't be so much convinced. Now, this one looks quite uh, superficial in the sense that. Okay, okay. Uh, that all depends on the stain. If the stain is quite deep, mm -hmm. you can see, but it looks like it's just on the superficial surface, uh, yeah. uh, 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 stroma, but it still got into the stroma. Mm -hmm. So, this will be a case of ulcerative. Okay. Uh, it's not a deep one, but it's a superficial one. Okay. So, Normally this one, uh, eye drops and mm -hmm. uh, e collar, and the best is to shave all the hair off. I see. Okay. Uh, because this hair is irritated, irritated, and then get the ears clean. Okay. So now we look at this one. A normal cornea is the one which does not stain with fluorescein. Uh, this is the definition of a normal cornea. Not say normal, but non ulcerated uh, because uh, we separate them into ulcerated and non ulcerated. And uh, this is a good example. Now this dog is not.